Hello everyone, it's Don and Don here again with another update on my War Corsair project. Uh, last video you seen I was doing the epoxy wipe procedure. I've got that all done and I've got it all sanded out. Been working on it after work in the evenings, but it's all been all sanded clean. There's uh, slight low spots here and there, just little small things, but there's no pinholes to speak of. It, it literally filled all the pinholes. Okay, and as you can see, I got one of my gear legs up in the air. I managed to cut those open, cut the gear doors open. There's the gear door still in one solid piece. So, what I want to show you is I got this one. It's all cut open as well. The gear door has been cut open on that in the front end. So, but it's all sanded down all the way back to the tail. Turned out pretty good. So, uh, what I've been working on now is the mechanisms that pull the gear doors closed. Everything works off of this thing here is a cam follower that rides on uh, part of the lane gear retract mechanism and these go down and hook to the doors, one on each side. Uh, I cut these out on my CNC machine. I made a video on that so I'll either add it to the end of this one or uh, upload it as a, a separate video. It was probably 10-12 minutes long and that's one of the wheels. Okay, what I didn't tell you the last time after I got all the glassing done, when I put the ailerons on to, to clearance all this stuff out, uh, I noticed that because of this thickness here, when I made the templates, plywood templates for this, they were literally the size of the spar. So what happened was I ended up being about a half inch short. So what I had to do is add a half inch, as you can see in this piece of foam here, from half inch down to zero on this end to get it to, to, to match this size. And then also this first section of flap was the same way. Because on this wing there's only one plywood template here and that plywood template at the tip to work on. So both of these from here came down to a half inch low here and then from there back up. So I had to do the flap the same way. So I had to do both the ailerons and the flaps. All right, now let me show you what I'm up to now. All right, here's the assembly installed here. I had to make these. The mechanisms are sticking up through here. This does the inside door. This does the outside door. So those get tucked down in there, but they'll get attached to the underside of this. This is the bottom side of what the doors look like. And then once that uh, is all adjusted, it all fits in there and closes up. And then this will get, I'll cut this out afterwards. So, but they'll fold open like so, this way. And this one over here will fold open that way. And there's the piano hinges for it. Already pre-cut, I got them cut to size. And they literally will mount mount right on the inside of this ply here something like this and then they fold up and down so I got those four all cut out but yeah it was a treat getting this in here I had to do it this way standoffs because of the wiring here I had to make these standoffs and move the assembly in now there'll be a block mounted on the back side of this with a hole in it for a 3 16 bolt that'll come down and on this one tube on this side there'll be a tab welded with a hole in it and I'll use a uh, 3 16 rod end bearing with a bolt coming up through a hole in here. And the, the head of the bolt will stick out. <clears throat> so when the gear leg comes down, folds down into place, the bolt will end up hitting somewhere in here. And that will push the linkage and pull the doors closed when it comes in. The original design had this cam mechanism that run off of this and I just never liked it. I figured it would never work. I've never seen one of these War Corsairs out in the field with gear doors on them. They've always been off probably because they didn't work. So these ones will work. Um, the tail, I still got to cut it open for the tail wheel assembly to come out of it. So that's where I'm at right now. <clears throat> um, let me get around the other side real quick. I had to plug this into a cord because the battery was going dead on me. I couldn't record. So I want to show you something here real quick on this side. Okay, you can see the the doors are in, they're cut out. Pull this out. And you can see there's the tire. So 
It all fits in there, clearance and all. That was real happy about that. And nothing hits inside. So, but these doors have to be cut open. I have to take out some material, maybe an inch all the way around it, uh, down through the center a little bit, <clears throat> and then the whole thing's got to be glassed. And after it's finished glassed, then I'll cut it apart and attach the hinges. So, all right, folks, that's what I've got done today. I've got, as you've seen, the other brackets ready to go in. I just have to uh, do this one just like I did that one. There's a little clearancing issues on a little bit over there that's got to be addressed. But this side, like I say, ended up being the same way. This flap was thin here, so I had to add a shim on the top of both of those. So, all right, that's where we're at. Got quite a bit done this week. Pleased with it. Uh, pleased with this stuff. <clears throat> so, all right, I'm going to cut this a little short. So if I tie the other one on here, it may be a 15-minute video before it's said and done. If not, it'll be uploaded as two separate videos. Okay, then, this is uh, Don and Don. I'll uh, catch you guys next time. Take care. Hello, everyone. Don and Don here again with another update on my War Corsair project. As I mentioned earlier, I needed to make a couple of... Um, brackets to mount the uh, gear door mechanisms to. So I've already made one and I'm going to go ahead and videotape and hopefully uh, not screw up the second one. Uh, this is what I was talking about. This is the first plate that the uh, mechanisms for the gear doors will attach to. It's going to be somewhere about in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend this because this is about a 10 minute program without tool changes. So everything's already set up. All I got to do is second start. Turn on my mister. Get some water flowing. And we're good to go. First thing is the speed comes up. And I'm going to go there and peck with all these holes first for drilling. set up my Z for my zero for my Z is the top of the board, top of the wood. You can see it here. This is an 8 inch 6061. Again, it's going to drill every hole, even though these are 316, these are quarter inch. These get uh, routed out of the uh, profile kit, so they're not drilled. After it finishes these holes, I put in a 316th, it'll come back and drill these smaller holes. Well, I'll drill them all, and then it'll go through and drill the quarter inch after I do a tool change again. Alright, this will be the last hole. Sixteenths. Now I need to re-zero my bit. Come back over to the edge of the board. And these aren't too critical. Okay, zero that. We'll raise it back up about two inches is where the program starts. Move it close to where it was. And we're good to go. Go back to center where the last move was. Pick up from there. Turn it back on. Oh, 
catch those first two holes in the correct spot, the rest of them it did. Doesn't make sense. Something is acting up. Let's see what happens. Okay, now it's time for the quarter inch bit. I'm just drilling out the outside four holes, which are the mounting holes. Not the plate in the plane. Again, we're going to here and re-zero. Zero to Z. Back up in two inches. And we'll cycle start again. Back on, water mister. Six millimeter, three flute, high high spiral twist, specific for aluminum. Zero Z again. be able to go from here. Now this is going to be cutting in about 50 inches a minute.
Mexico. some reason. One there, there. The other part did the exact same thing. Not sure why. Okay, well that's going to do it for now. It's just posted up after I do a video showing you an update on the course here. Alright everyone, thanks for watching. This is Donald Gone Out.